Good afternoon, visitors. The boat you currently see arriving through the Duluth Ship Canal is the Saginaw. The Saginaw was built in 1953 as the John J. Boland by the Manitowoc Shipbuilding Company of Manitowoc, Wisconsin. She measures 639 feet in length, 72 feet in width. And that salute you just heard there is known as the standard salute. That's one long and two short horns. The Saginaw measures 639 feet in length, 72 feet in width, and 36 feet in depth. She is powered by an 8,200 horsepower, six-cylinder Mack diesel engine, which gives her a top speed of 14 knots, or about 16 miles per hour. She is also equipped with bow and stern thrusters to aid her maneuverability in port. The Saginaw has 30 hatches on her deck, which open into six cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 45 by 9 feet. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 20,200 tons. Above her deck is a 250-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 6,000 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. The Saginaw is currently owned and operated by Lower Lakes Towing of Port Dover, Ontario, Canada, a subsidiary of Rand Logistics of Jersey City, New Jersey. The Saginaw is coming into the Twin Ports today to unload grain at Riverland Ag. She's uh, on her way down from Thunder Bay, Ontario, where she loaded that grain. Once the grain is discharged, she will leave the Twin Ports to load iron ore pellets at Canadian National up in Two Harbors, Minnesota. If you see any crew members on deck, make sure to give them a big wave and welcome them back to the Twin Ports. Once again, that one long and two short is known as the Captain's or Standard Salute. The Saginaw was built in 1953 as the John J. Boland by the Manitowoc Shipbuilding Company of Manitowoc, Wisconsin. She measures 639 feet in length, 72 feet in width, and 36 feet in depth. The Saginaw is arriving in the Twin Ports today. Uh, she came down from Thunder Bay, Ontario. She'll be unloading grain at Riverland Ag, and then departing the Twin Ports to load iron ore pellets at Canadian National in Two Harbors, Minnesota. If you see any crew members on deck, make sure to give them a big wave and welcome them back to the Twin Ports. Oh, 
are you waving? You're not from around here, are you? <laughs> oh my god, look at that man sitting there. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>